everybody to Mecca. Thank you so much for joining us. This is Norma the Cannabis Queen and Casey Cannabis. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to get her used to talking on camera, y'all. She is a little shy. I'm trying to wheel her in so that I'm not doing all the talking, but. So like we mentioned in the last video, voting is huge. Getting it legalized mm -hmm. is our main concern. Yeah. So um, Houston Normal, they're a group out in Houston. They meet centrally once a month. Mm -hmm. uh, April, April 19th is when they're meeting around 7.30. Mm -hmm. um, click on subscribe. We'll give you all the details on where and when. So um, make sure you stay tuned for that. And then also, um, there's a women's business uh, conference going on. That's going to be on April 21st. That's coming up. So if you're interested and you're a woman, you're a minority, um, we're going to do a huge networking event and, you know, just get to meet everyone, bring your business card, uh, wear your nice attire, you know, just hang out then. And then also um, April 21st is the National Cannabis Festival in D.C. Um, that's going to be huge. It's the third annual uh, event and it's going to be um, featuring Cypress Hill. Uh, it's going to be a huge, huge festival oh, that's out there. awesome. So that's going to be awesome. So subscribe and then we'll get you some details for how much it costs and um, where it's at. And last the event is the um, Open Minds Night. It's uh, hosted by TCIA, which is the Texas Cannabis Industry Association. Um, they're going to be bringing in some speakers to speak to you about um, how to develop your cannabis industry um, business and uh, meet people that are in like northern Texas that are already licensed with the dispensaries and cultivation growers. So um, get in tune with that and you can get information on how to um, come to that event. I'm going to piggyback a little bit off of that before I go into the stock tips because I want you guys to know that there, this industry is so big and we are actually at the, you know, right at the catalyst. Uh, it's the new budding industry, no pun intended, but really, <laughs> truly, we're at the beginning of this and I think people are under the impression that, you know, you really have to be involved with the plant and you don't. There are so many different moving parts to this. You can actually be on the equipment side, the LED lighting, the facilities that you need, the areas of town that you need to grow this plant and you just can't plant this seed somewhere and then, you know, it grows. Actually, when you become involved in the legal cannabis movement, you have to, you know, keep in contact or you have to keep um, what do I want to say? You have to be mindful of this product from seed to sale. You have to actually monitor it from to seed to sale. Yep. It has to be tracked mm -hmm. from seed to sale. And so when you get ready to do this, there are so many moving parts to this that you can be involved in so many different ways. If you are someone who just wants to be able to, you know, be able to lease equipment or to be able to provide equipment, or lights. Apps. You know, technology. apps, technology, all those different things are going to be needed. Security is huge in the yeah. cannabis market because, you know, the federal government is slow to get on board with this. And so a lot of things have to be done in cash only. And so right now, um, security is really major. They, these people have to hire uh, armored vehicles to come and, and transport their um, Just profits from profits, place yeah. to place because it is so difficult to house it because you can't put the money in the bank. So there's just so many different parts of this. There are so many different ideas that are needed. You know, whatever your contribution is to this, it is so needed and it's, you know, it's just we're at the beginning and there's so much opportunity for growth. And so these conferences and places where you can possibly attend and get information, take the opportunity if this is something you're interested in and go out there and learn the information that you're going to need to grow. Yeah. It's really, really essential. And networking is huge. I mean, you're mm -hmm. going to have to know so many people and have so many people as a team. You can't just do this on your own or with one, one other person. You right. have to literally have a team so it's going to be so beneficial to come to the networking right. events going to the advocating events right and just getting your face out there and getting to know you know is this the industry for you right you know the, the truth of the matter you guys and we always want to be straight up honest you know really in your face with honesty because you know for us it's kind of bittersweet you know in the african-american community we've been you know our brothers and sisters are incarcerated on large scales because of, you know, small bags of weed, honestly. Because of and products that are making others money right now. Exactly, exactly. And unfortunately, they're labeled, you know, and let's, let's be honest, you know, there, there are probably some, you know, other ethnicities out there that have been jailed, but on a larger scale, it has affected our community. And so you really do have to have a good understanding of why it's so important that we as a community get involved in this.